Hey everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my 2020 summer home tour. I hope you enjoy this video. Because I was so busy painting cabinets this summer, I really didn't do a ton of decorating, but I thought I would give you a tour before we move on to fall decor in a few weeks. Okay, so when you come in my front door, this is the foyer. This is what you see. The dining room is over here to the left and my office is over here to the right. So we'll start here in the foyer. Over here to the left, I have this hook from hook rack from Hobby Lobby and then that welcome sign. And then this is actually still my spring decor, but I thought it fit really nicely here for summer. Okay, so I have just this black straw, black and you know, the straw colored beach bag from Target. And I just have some of those flowers sticking out of there and a sun hat. And then this little basket is also from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. I just stuck a little plant in there. And that's all I did over here. I think it looks really pretty and simple. So then coming over here to my entryway table, I have that black round mirror from Target and the stay a while sign up above it. And then this is my new vase from Pier 1. I love it. I love it so much. I did get it on the going out of business sale. It was still kind of pricey, but there was only one left. So I scooped it up and it is beautiful. So I just have these wispy stems in here for now that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have my little riser here with my little shiplap candle and a candle ring around that. And then down here, I just have the basket with a little blanket and a pillow. And I love it. I just love it super simple like this, but I love that vase. It is gorgeous. So then over here at this section, I have my little bike picture, which I love. It's super pretty. I got that at, at or Home Goods last year. And then down here, I have this little bench that is from Hobby Lobby. And that plant was from Target. And just some rain boots and a little pillow just to kind of decorate it up a little bit. And I think that looks super cute. So then here is a little glimpse of the foyer area from this side. Okay, so the first place we're gonna go right to the right when you walk through the front door is my office. I'll just give you a quick little overview of what the office looks like right now and then I will go over just a little bit about what I have in here. So coming over here to the right I have these two chairs that I got from Craigslist and the one just has a little ottoman in front of it. I had that up in my bathroom and I love it too much to get rid of so kind of doesn't really fit in here but for now it's just in here and then I have this little furry rug here in front of the two chairs. And then, so this bookshelf is from At Home. I love it, it fits perfectly in between these two windows. And then I just have, I love these little olive trees. Um, super pretty and simple, and they are from Target. And then I just have some random decor, some the faux stacked books. And then these are my favorite little plants from Target. I just got another one. This one I just picked up because I put the other one in my kitchen and it is not May 6th. So that just goes to show you how often I change that calendar. But anyways, this is the bookshelf. And then on these two windows, I have just these little tie up balloon shades that are from Target. And then I just have a faux fiddle tree over there in the corner. And then this whole arrangement basically is from Hobby Lobby, except for the little wreath is from Target. 
So over here on my desk, it's pretty simple for now. I did get this little plant right here, this snake plant from Target a while ago. And then I have my little glass calendar and right now it's just wiped clean. I've been so busy the month of July with doing the kitchen, I haven't even had a chance to fill that out. So I'm probably just not even gonna fill it out until August. And then coming over here, this little stand I had gotten from Facebook Marketplace, I do wanna paint that and do something a little different. It's an old speaker's um, cabinet. I wanna get rid of the speakers and paint it a little bit different, but for now it's just like this. I have my balance scale on here, and then above it I have that really pretty picture that is from uh, Hobby Lobby, and I love that. So I just hung that in here recently. I think it looks really pretty. And then somebody gave my daughter this picture and I kind of stole it. It's the cutest little picture of Kova and her good friend gave it to her for her birthday and it looks so cute in my office. So I kind of just put it in here for now, but she'll take it back, I'm sure. And then over here, I just have this little storage container, storage, uh, whatever, wood piece <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. And on top of it, I just have a little faux plant from Target. And then down here is Miss Kova's bed because she spends a lot of time in here with me when I'm doing some work. So this is just one more overview of what the office looks like. So then coming in here, when you go to the left of the front door is my dining room. And here is a little overview of how this turned out. I recently did a video on this. I love this room now. I just am so pleased with how it turned out. I also painted those cabinets and it just brightened it up so much in here. So coming in here, I just have my hutch and just kind of simply decorated that. I'll show you the inside here, just give you a little idea of what the outside looks like. So here's a peek at the inside of the hutch. Again, just another one of those little olive trees and then just a lot of kind of farmhouse-like decor, a lot from the Hearth and Hand collection and some things from Tractor Supply. And I just kept it very neutral with some little pops of greenery and some of those hydrangeas in the back. But otherwise, I just kept it super simple and neutral. So again, it ties in nicely with what's going on at the top. So then over here on the table, jars have become my new obsession. I just love them. I got, I think most of these at At Home and then I did get uh, the small one from Hobby Lobby and I just added some simple little pink flowers in there just for the summertime. And then that Thankful and Blessed and those shutters and wreaths, they're all from Hobby Lobby and that just stays up all year even though that Thankful and Blessed is in the um, fall stuff. I just leave it up all year. So over here, this little table is from Hobby Lobby and I just have that black mirror up there and then that vase with that flower arrangement, that white uh, lamp with the gray shade and then the candle holder, the little gather sign and the birdhouse and bird cage and then just some corbel holding some of my recipe books. And I love this. I think it just really fits this space nicely. So then over here, I just kept this pretty simple too. Again, I did paint these cabinets. These were a like dark cherry color, brightened up the room so much by painting these. So I just have that little hello sign back there. And then this little wooden, wooden tray 
is from Hearth and Hand, and then these white pots are all from Target, and then the plants are also from Target in the Hearth and Hand collection. And then I just kind of put this over here for now. It's probably not going to stay, but I have my Magnolia Table book there with a corbel holding that up. And that's all that I did in this little section. So then here is a glance of this room from this side and then that beautiful rug I found at At Home and I love it. It just adds so much texture and comfort to this room. I generally don't like to put rugs under tables because I think they just collect a bunch of crumbs, but I'm going to be honest, we eat in here about two times a year so I can manage to clean crumbs from a couple times a year. So this is the dining room. Okay, so when you come in through the front door and you go around this little corner, there is my little half bath. And I did do a video on how I put this um, wallpaper up here and I love it. It looks so pretty. It added so much to this room and it was, it was not the easiest to hang. I do have a video on it and it was just because you really had to match the pattern. It's definitely not perfect, but I don't think anybody would really notice too much unless they're looking really closely for, you know, where it's not so perfect. But I just have a few little decor pieces in here, not too much. That little bike plant stand was in the Target dollar spot in early spring. And just a few little decor pieces, like I said, not too much. And then on the back of this toilet, I keep some extra hand towels in that basket. And so I just have a hand towel over here. Again, not a ton. Um, I didn't really change anything up too much for summer in here. I just wanted to give you a little glam glimpse so you can see how everything comes together. And then this little picture frame or window frame is from Hobby Lobby as well as that um, magnolia um, wreath that what is that um, galvanized metal magnolia wreath and then again just not too much those hand towels are super pretty those are from Target earlier in the spring I'm not sure if they still have them and then I have just another large magnolia home basket back here where I keep a bunch of extra toilet paper so this is just the little half bath downstairs So coming out of the bathroom over here to the right is the family room. So I will give you a little glimpse of that. I changed up a couple things, not a ton. I just really simplified the mantle and just put two of those little olive trees that I love so much on either side of my favorite barn picture that will stay up until the fall. And then I haven't decided my color scheme for the fall yet. So it may or may not, or it may or may not stay up through the fall. And then coming down here, I just have this basket from Target and I added a little blanket and a pillow and some of those pretty hydrangeas. I have a little candle stand over there next to it. I haven't put one of my remote controlled candles in there yet. And then I just have this little basket that holds those birch logs in there. And so this fireplace mantle or the brick goes all the way up to the ceilings. The ceilings are about 20 feet high. Over here in this corner, I have this little chair that is from at home. I just have a little pillow on there. I have a little lamp back behind there. This little arrangement always stays on this little table. The table is from Target and I just always have that little arrangement back in there also. This is basically my favorite chair for reading or editing. I sit here all the time. That little remote next to that arrangement is actually a little laser pointer to play with the cats. So I like to sit in this chair every morning and they like to play with the laser pointer. Over here on the TV stand, I just have 
that little lantern that is from TJ Maxx quite a while ago. I have one of my favorite little remote control. This is the Luminara candles and they are expensive, but they are so worth it. And I love how the wick just flickers. So I have that in there and I have the remote tucked behind it so I can turn it off at any time. Then these candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby. And, and then I just have some miscellaneous little decor down on these shelves. Basically, everything is not much different than what you guys have seen before. The only thing I changed was the top of this TV stand a little bit. Over here to the right of the TV stand is this blanket ladder that my husband made for me. So I just have some of my favorite blankets that kind of tie in nicely, some wooden beads, and then just a lamb's ear garland wrapped around one side. So over here on the couch, I have a few throw pillows, or quite a few throw pillows, I love throw pillows, and a blanket draped over the back. And so these little checked pillows were from Lowe's and the gray ones are from, the gray plaid ones are from Big Lots. And then those are pillow covers from Amazon, the little eucalyptus leaves, I love those. And I'd put those out in the spring, but I just love them too much to put them away for summer. They'll go away pretty soon when I do my fall decorating. But I love the way that that turned out and I love the that real light blue color. And then this is the coffee table that my husband made for me. And all I have on here is this little wicker tray. This little runner, which I have ironed, but needs to be ironed again, is from Amazon. And then I have this, this little wicker tray and she made herself a home book and a candle from Target. I'll give you a look at it from the front. And then that's just my husband's glasses on top of there. But so here is this. So here is just one more view of what the family room looks like. And then of course, Kova's bed in front of the fireplace, but it's where she always likes to lay. So when you come out of the family room, the last area I will share with you today is my kitchen tour. My last couple videos were my decorate my kitchen with me and my coffee bar. So definitely check those out if you want a little bit more detailed information on where everything is from, but I will just quickly show you how I've decorated it for summer. So coming over here to this wall, this mug rack is from Target and I love it. I haven't been able to find, I found it one time and it was in the stores for like two weeks and then that was it. So um, I love it though. It's just different than the iron ones that everybody else has. So I just love that. And I just have some mugs from the Hearth and Hand collection on there. And I have some olive branches on the top. And then just this little olive bucket with some greenery in it. And then coming down here, this is just an extra stool that can be pulled up to our island. I don't like it there all the time. It just makes it too crowded. But I have this fresh blueberries pillow from Tractor Supply. And then that's just Kova's dishes down there. So then coming to the left here when you come into the kitchen, this is my coffee bar. So that was the last video I posted. So there is detail on where I got pretty much everything on that video. So definitely check that out if you have some questions on specifically where something comes from. If I don't answer it, feel free to leave me a comment and you can ask me a question and I'll be happy to answer it. But it's just super neutral. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And I can't wait to decorate it for fall, but for now I'm just loving the neutral with tiny little pops of blue. There's blue in that wreath. And then I kind of did like a little blueberry theme, which I thought was really cute. I got a lot of the blueberry stuff from Tractor Supply and I just loved it because it was different than lemons and you know what everybody else does. I just loved the blueberries. I thought it added a pretty little blue touch to the decor, but still leaving it pretty neutral. So 
So then coming over this way, this is a table that I got from Facebook Marketplace and my husband and I refinished it. The table was $60 and I love it. And it does have a leaf that goes in it. I just don't have a leaf on there right now. And all the chairs I picked up are from at home. And then this is just a really simple centerpiece. So this is another one of those vases, like the big white vase. This is the original one I got. And it's just the lightest periwinkle color, just a subtle touch of color. It's beautiful. And then I added some of those blue or periwinkle color and white hydrangeas in there and just added a simple little napkin. We sit at this table all the time, so this can easily be removed, but I definitely want people to use the placemats just because this is newly refinished. So I wanna make sure it stays nice and doesn't get any rings on it for a little while. And then I just put some coasters here and some salt and pepper shakers. And that's all I did with the table and I love how simple it turned out. So then when you come into the kitchen, I recently did all the cabinets white. I have a whole video on how I did that, but it has made me love my kitchen. I am so happy with it. I was so unhappy with the dark cherry cabinets and this just brightened it up so much. So I love it. So on this wall, I just have this little plate rack with some neutral kind of little appetizer plates from at home. And then on this countertop, I always leave these jars out. We use these all the time, my flour, sugar, and oats jars. Those jars are from Walmart, and Target has them also, and you can get them on Amazon too, I'm sure. And then this little riser, I get all kinds of questions on this. This little riser is from At Home, and I just put my favorite dish soap on there and a little plant. And then these are those super bright um, washcloths from anthropology and I love them. They're just so bright. They add just such a pretty color. And then up on the windowsill, I have these three plants that are from Joann's and then that's my daughter's little succulent. She's got to put that up in her room that her boyfriend gave her, but just those three little plants from Joann. And then I think my favorite part, and I don't know why, I love this homemade sign above the window. And then this is a little plant holder from Home Depot and we just screwed it into the wall and I hung this little plant here that is from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target and I love the feel. I think it just like cozied up this area so much. So then coming over here to the right of my stove, I have this cutting board from the, I think that's from Target, and I just have this cream colored crock or white crock that I've had for a while that I just put all these utensils in that I use on pretty much on a regular basis. And then on the stove itself, I have this trivet that is from Target, and I just put one of my black cherry Merlot candles on there. And on this side, I have my little hand towel ladder my husband and I made. There is a video on that quite a while back. If somebody's interested, I can try to put that link in the description box, just let me know. And this little plant and this bread box is from TJ Maxx and it was new and my TJ Maxx had just gotten a large shipment of them. It's not really big, it holds like a loaf and maybe a half of bread, which is really all we ever have around, but I love, I love that it's not huge and I love the black. So then over here at the end of my island, I added this little hook bar and just added some little simple decor pieces that just kind of are nice and neutral right now for the end of summer before we bring in some fall decor. So up on top of my refrigerator, I have this pitcher that was from Tuesday morning and I just put that little hanging vines in there from Target and I love the way it just kind of drapes over the side. And then my cookbook holder, I get that questions about that all the time. That is from Walmart. And I just put my Magnolia Table cookbook up there. And then down here on this counter, this is my Zen charger that was sent to me. And so I leave that there. And then I just have this little cake stand. And in there, I put some really neutral dishes from the Hearth and Hand Collection and this little candle ring. I love that little look. I do use this cake stand when I have muffins and stuff, but when I don't, I like to put some kind of decor in there. 
And then over here, I have a watermelon. <laughs> I have some fruit. My little fruit basket is from Pier 1. I always get questions on this, and unfortunately, it is not available anymore, but I love this thing. And I just have this little wooden egg holder down there. I still need to pull out some of my white and wood eggs to put in there to decorate that. So over here on the island, this riser is from Pier 1. They have them on clearance right now. I actually ordered two. It's beautiful. It's a great size, and I love the quality. So I did get another one. And I have my farmhouse candle from the Copper Candle Co. And a little um, candle ring around that. And that's all I like to keep here on the island because I just we use this all the time. So I don't like it crowded with a ton of decor. I do get questions on where my um, bar stools are from. And those are from Ashley Furniture. And then we did recently update the light fixtures above the island. Those are from Home Depot. I think I'm gonna get a similar one to hang there above the sink, but I'm not sure yet. And then this light fixture above the kitchen table is from Amazon, and I love that. So here is one more overview of what the kitchen looks like. I think it just looks super bright. Like I said, this is probably my favorite room in the house now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this summer home tour. I wanted to get this up for you. It's a little late, but I wanted to get it up so that uh, before I take all this down in a few weeks and start decorating for fall. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.